of the Thunder looking like they're not messing around tonight. They had a little bit of an edge to them as they got off the bus earlier. Hello, basketball fans. You've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you exciting NBA action. In this game, we'll see the Charlotte Hornets against the Oklahoma City Thunder with two Hall of Famers, Doris Burke and Grant Hill. I'm Brian Anderson, Ali LaForce, our reporter, and the Oklahoma City starting five. In it forward, it's Jordan Williams. Shea Gilgis Alexander is out there with Josh Giddy, and it's Holmgren in at the five. And for the Hornets, Rogier is the two with Miller at the three. Then there's P.J. Washington. Then there's LaMelo Ball. And it's Williams in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Grant, a look into the future of the NBA tonight. These are two of the brightest young teams in the league. You know, when it's all said and done, B.A., these are squads that I expect to eventually play for titles. I mean, the talent is there. And, of course, it's all about gaining experience and gelling as a team. And so off the tip is Oklahoma City. Pass to Holmgren. And stolen by Williams. Miller, the pass to Williams. Over Holmgren. Williams' shot is good. And that's what you get from Brandon Miller. I mean, he can really whip passes there around the court. Giddy against Rozier. And that one's good. Giddy. Giddy. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Rozier gets the bucket. That climbing three-point percentage for Cherry Rozier just gets better and better. Giddy finds Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren with a screen on ball. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Pass to ball. Here's Miller. And Josh Giddy is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. First Ref's calling it close foul. already as he picks first up a quick early foul. foul. Pass to Rozier. Clock at six. Charlotte needs to get one up in a hurry. Drains the three, and Sounds he'll good. go to the line for one more. Sounds good. Dort picks one up. You know, when you look at Brandon Miller's skill set, this guy has the potential to be an elite scorer. And that's why so many are excited about him. A three-level scorer who possesses impressive length and a quick release. B.A., this kid is special. And the free throw, no good. And Grant, when you scan the OKC roster, you see length at every position. Yeah, it's definitely their philosophy, B.A. We're seeing a number of franchises going that route. What I would say about the Thunder, though, many of their guys still have some strength to add. Yeah, teams will try to get physical with SGA, but make sure you understand that wiry frame is big time strong. Pass to Williams. It's not going to go for him. Great D that time from Holmgren. I mean, I think that was their first miss of the game. They've been just rolling. Still just Alexander against Rozier. Screen by Holmgren. From deep, Gilgis Alexander. Washington grabs the miss. Charlotte has gone two of two at the perimeter. Rozier finds ball. First, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Williams, it's good on the putback. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. And Giddy has got the ball here for Oklahoma City. They trail by six. Got it. Good job in the low post. 
That's outstanding footwork by Josh Giddy. Finishing the painted area. I can do that too. Here's Miller. Dort defending. Miller, the pass to Williams. The kick out to Ball. And here's Washington. Back to Ball. He's now one for two with that bucket. You've got to appreciate the consistency. Night in and night out. He brings it. Ball against Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren with a screen on ball. Pass to Holmgren. Now here's Giddy. Screen by Holmgren. Up top, Giddy. Ten points in his last outing. That shot is off. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Thunder. Thunder. While we have a moment, let's check out the highest scoring teams in the league last season. Fifth on the list, the Thunder. And last year, I liked watching this team operate on the offensive end. The ball movement, the patience, the confidence. You love seeing all that come together. Door outside. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Three-pointer. Knocks it down from Jay distance. Gilgis, Gilgis Alexander. Alexander's got five. Well, great decision from Dort. If your teammate is open, get him the basketball. Nicely done. Pass to Williams. Here's Rozier. Williams with the screen. Rozier can't get it to go. Now here's Giddy. Outside, Williams. Inside. Here's Holmgren. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. They're coming off a loss against Miami. And it's not the result they were hoping for. But every game is a chance to learn and make adjustments. Yeah, I mean, listen, it hurts a little more when you play well and fail to close out a game. That was one they should have won. Here's Miller. Williams, a screen on Gilgis Alexander. They get it back. And Williams punches it home. And I just love how he's making the effort plays that everyone around him appreciates. It is certainly making an impact tonight. No doubt. On the scoreboard, in the body language of the players, you can tell which team is in complete command. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got five. Pass to Holmgren. Williams with it. Oh, it's blocked by Washington. Here's Miller. Williams defending. And here's Ball. Launches a three. Drills it from deep. Five points in the game. When LaMelo entered the league, his three-point shot was a little bit of a mystery. But boy, we can put that to rest. This young man can shoot it. Now here's Holmgren. What a tremendous game he played against San Antonio. Outside, Williams. Drains the triple. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. Rozier against Kitty. 13 feet out. Rejected by Holmgren. And you can't forget about Holmgren's reach, especially when he's nearby on defense. Rozier against Williams. Shot clock at six. Pass the ball. Let's go with a three. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. He is too good a shooter, guys, to be left open like that. The defense just dodged a bullet there. Gilgis Alexander, a screen on Rozier. Giddy finds Gilgis Alexander. Back to Giddy. Screen by Holmgren. Let's it fly from 18. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got five rebounds tonight. Here's the three. Miller can't get it to go. The Thunder have gotten five of 11 shots to go. Pass to Giddy. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. 
Williams has got six rebounds in the game. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. Ball's got his third basket on the night right there. Here's Holmgren. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Dort with it. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Screen by Holmgren. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. And the baseline jumper goes down. Yeah, and certainly room for growth from Holmgren in the mid-range. But good to see him taking the shot rather than passing on it. Pass the ball. Washington outside. Giddy against Rozier to the middle. Here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. We all know Terry Rozier can score the ball, but boy, showing the selflessness right there with that pass. Holmgren with a screen on ball. Up top, Holmgren over Williams. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Hornets. Well, we're in the era of the three-point basket. So if you want to win games in this league, you have to connect from deep. And they have been thus far. Yeah, and in addition, their ball movement has really unleashed their offense. Boy, they've been fun to watch. Now here's Williams. Give him eight. Oh, they get a hand on it. Pass to Giddy. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got seven rebounds in the game. This has not been a good period for this guy. Out of sync, not letting the game come to him. He's got to settle down and make shots. Hayward for three. He drops it from range. And the Hornets lead by seven. I think you've got to go over the screen on Gordon Hayward because if you don't, he's going to pull the trigger quickly. Giddy against Martin. Williams, a screen on Martin. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Uh, just finding the open man and making sure it's on time and on target. This is who Josh Giddy is. Hayward outside. Williams with the screen. Hayward, the pass to Williams. And stolen by Williams. Joe misses. It's all about the defense right there. Without that level of activity, he probably scores it. Back to Rozier. Puts one up from 19. That shot off the mark. No question who's in control of the board so far. Pounded by Rozier. Outside Giddy. Back to Williams. Six on the shot clock. Giddy against Martin. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. I know he's got to be frustrated right now, but the team is fighting from behind. He's got to stay with it. You know, for my money, Josh Giddy is one of the most entertaining players in the league, Grant. Yeah, he has superb vision in the open floor, B.A. Reads the angles and sees how plays develop with ease. His teammates have to be ready for a pass from Giddy at all times. Rozier outside. Pass to Hayward. Unloads. Williams grabs the board. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. There's 47 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Puts up a three. The rebound by Bridges. The Hornets with the lead. Martin, right side. On the wing, Rozier. They still need this. Another missed shot. He's one of five. Looking shaky out there. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Joe. The three gets the three to fall. And the Thunder lead by one. 
gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Thunder out in front, leading by one. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Let's get back into it now as we continue to get a sneak peek of the upcoming NBA season. And we're here in this one. They're getting a big contribution from the bench already. As a coach, I think you get a certain feel for what your team needs. And credit this guy for not waiting around. He went ahead and made the adjustment. Charlotte trailing. Ball and Martin are the one and the two. Hayward and Bridges at the small and power forward spots. And it's Richards in at the center position. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Hornets. Nails it from beyond the arc. Bridges has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Oklahoma City has got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian, the Thunder are making dramatic improvement. Shea Gilgis Alexander now an All-Star says they're gaining confidence. He said, quote, we know we're getting better. I think guys are kind of getting addicted to that feeling and continuing to grow. Brian, they could be building something really special here. Yeah, you're right, they could. Skipping no steps either. Thanks, Alec. Gilgis Alexander passes to Joe. Williams on the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Gilgis Alexander from outside. The rebound by Bridges. Charlotte has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Pass to Martin. Ball outside. Screen by Bridges. Launches it. And the Hornets, another three. There is just such an enthusiasm, such a love for the game with LaMelo. Shot after shot going down. Shot to stop the run, and it's rejected. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass, really getting after it and being physical. But they're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. And the Thunder call time here. Well, Graham Hornets head coach Steve Clifford said that the team needs to start winning if they want to keep LaMelo Ball. And he's not wrong, B.A. I mean, they view Ball as the cornerstone of the franchise. But they have to give him a reason to stay. He is indeed a special talent, and winning is his ultimate priority. Robinson Earls checked in for Williams. Here's Gilgis Alexander taking it inside. SGA. Very long, and SGA so effective around the hoop because of that length. Martin outside. Pass the ball from outside the arc. Robinson Earl with a rebound. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. Here's Joe. Outside, Williams. Now Gilgis Alexander, pounded by ball. The jump hook, and it's Gilgis Alexander with the bucket inside. Gilgis Alexander's got four points this quarter. Pass to Richards. Richards with a screen. Gilgis Alexander against Ball. So for the Hornets, Washington comes in for Richards. And Miller subbed in for Martin. First team foul. Substitution for the Hornets. B.J. Washington. Miller. Here in quarter two, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. For Oklahoma City, they've gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Wiggins finds Gilgis Alexander. Stolen by Ball. 
in transition. Here's Hayward. Uneasy, too, on the layup. Hayward's got his second bucket on the night. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Here's Gilchrist Alexander. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Williams. Okay, let's fire up the 2K leaderboard. Last year, you really had to protect the ball against these teams. The fourth spot held by Oklahoma City. And this is a team that takes great pride in being aggressive on the defensive end. They take good risk and know when to go after opportunities for steals. To the wing on the left. Now here's Ball. He's got 15. Good work defensively by Gilgis Alexander. And so it's Gilgis Alexander with it. He brings it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Eight-point game. Incredible focus there by SGA. The ability to absorb contact and continue through it. Here's Miller. Hounded by Wiggins. Basket's good. Miller's got five. And their offensive execution has really picked up here in the second period. And the Thunder call time here. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Williams has checked in for Bridges. Holmgren, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Lou Dort comes in for Wiggins. One more round of applause for your honeybee. And it's Gordon Hayward with the foul. That's his first foul. Gordon Hayward, first personal foul, first team foul. Gilgis Alexander surveying the D. Just five to shoot. Boy, that's great defense from LaMelo Ball. He has the length and the agility to be an outstanding defender. It's about learning to give it every single night on that end. Joe, the pass to Holmgren, nails the baby hook. Holmgren's got his third bucket of the night. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Pass to Miller. Back to Hayward. Here's Miller. Over Dort. The Thunder pull it in. Holmgren's got four rebounds now. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Stolen by Ball. To the inside. And stolen by Holmgren. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Williams. And the call is going to be yes on a legal screen. Well, Grant, you've been the up-and-comer, but you've also played the role of the veteran. What's the key to that latter stage? You know, B.A., your contributions as a veteran are felt just as much with your leadership as they are with your numbers. So sharing what you've learned with those younger players on the way up is so, so important. Williams has checked in for Oklahoma City. Josh Giddy comes in for Joe. Yeah, you can see the impressive vertical of LaMelo. This guy gets to the cup and slams it home. Holmgren with a screen on ball. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. Guarded now by Williams. Holmgren against ball. Shot clock at six. Let's it fly from 18. Hornets with the rebound. Listen, offensively, they're very comfortable with him taking that shot. It's a good look under very little pressure. He just can't convert. And here is Williams. Give him eight points now. Hayward, the pass to Washington. And Washington powers it through. We can see how dialed in Gordon Hayward can be. When he's on his game, the vision is exceptional. Here's Gilgis Alexander. 11 points in the game. It's Holmgren, high post. Over Williams. 
And Holmgren with the basket on the assist by Gilgis Alexander. That's about reading the floor. Hits his man right where he wanted it. Williams, a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Here's Miller, Dort defending. Ooh, nice Brandon. shot by Miller. And this is how composed Miller is. He doesn't let physical defense get to him. Dort outside. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander with the hammer. Wow! Always fun to see point guards who can elevate above the rim like that. Oh, a strong mindset and even stronger finish. Boy, it's incredible how much explosive scoring ability can come from the lead guard position. That is a big time play. Fade away. That one rolls around and rims out. The Thunder have gotten six of their 12 attempts to go since the end of the first. What's something that stuck out to you about Luke Dort's game, Doris? I guess the first thing that pops from BBA is how hard he plays the game, how willing he is nightly on the defensive end of the floor to take on the opponent's best scorer, to not get down in the dumps when he's scored upon, and to bring the same effort no matter who he's playing and no matter what he's up against. And the shot goes down. Miller's got nine. His efficiency has been a big factor in helping them capture this lead. Pass to Holmgren. Now Dort. Now here's Kitty. Back to Dort. Screen by Holmgren. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Mark Williams. And you watch Charlotte. Boy, they play with pace, Grant. Oh, B.A., they tend to get a lot of shots up. Heavy volume team, but when those shots are falling, they can compete against anyone. That one misses. You know, Doris, when you think of the Oklahoma City Thunder, the days of Durant, Westbrook, and Harden certainly come to mind. Boy, what a special time that was for this organization. There's no question. Those guys went on to win MVP awards. Now this front office wants to establish a fresh identity with a new young core. So much to look forward to. Despite missing the playoffs in 2023, the future still looks bright for OKC doors. B.A., I don't know how you could not be impressed with what they did. They're accomplished in the regular season well beyond what the expectation was. So many people dismissed them at the start. What a bright young four they have. Ooh, nice shot by Miller. Brandon Miller. And Williams has got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Down by 12. Coming into this, having knocks to win against San Antonio in their last game. Hey, their activity on defense was terrific. It was just full effort at that end of the floor and a bunch of blocks to show for them. The best defenses do a great job of protecting the rim. That team did not give an inch. They defended and contested every shot. Two shots. Free throw drops for Williams. An interesting note on Jalen Williams. He was the first Santa Clara player drafted in 26 years. B.A., we know who that player you're talking about is. Obviously, Steve Nash was selected out of Santa Clara back in 1996. That one worked out pretty well. I think Jalen Williams will be special as well. And Williams drops them both. Getting themselves to the line this quarter is a good way to get their offense rolling. Giddy against Hayward. Rozier from outside. The offensive rebound. He came out today planning to do as much damage from three-point range as possible. Well, it looks like it's time to change up the plan, guys. Williams passes to Holmgren. Outside Giddy. Holmgren with a screen on Williams. Back to Holmgren. He takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Holmgren's got 11 points. Charlotte has gone four of seven from three during the second quarter. Here's Miller. 12 points for him. Off the mark there with a three. Pounded by Rozier. Two minutes. 
Outside Giddy. And he's now three for eight after that one. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. The Hornets with the lead. 144 left in the first half. Three-pointer Rozier. Williams grabs the board. Boy, a forgettable night for him, but thankfully his teammates have played well overall. Pounded by Rozier. Outside, Williams. Just five on the clock. Screen by Holmgren. Williams misses. The Hornets shooting about 58% so far in the second. A minute four left in the first half of basketball. Here's Williams. And the layup is good. Ten points for him. How about the timing? Could be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. Giddy passes to Williams. Inside. Here's Holmgren. Oh, he trains it. His sixth make and nine tries so far. A steady start has turned into a spectacular second quarter for him. Outside, Williams. Pass to Hayward. Over Giddy. Misses off the left iron. Oklahoma City has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Back to Williams. Takes a three. The shot's good on the assist by Giddy. Giddy's got three assists now in this one. Willing passers. Unselfish play. You have to appreciate this kind of offense. Launches it from deep. Sinks it. What range from downtown. Rozier's got six. There's just an enthusiasm of fire that Terry Rozier brings to the game, and this guy a big time answer on the three point line. And hold the previous play is under the Signaling that they are going to take a look at this replay. And the video is going to be sent to the officials from the replay center in Sakakis. It looked like he got it off in time, though. After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. And after reviewing the play, it looks like they're overturning the call here. That basket is good. It would have been a real shame if those points didn't count. I'm so glad the officials were able to take a second look and make the right call. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. Hornets out in front, up by three. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? I'm here with P.J. Washington. P.J., what will be the key for you guys defensively in the second half? Uh, not letting them get easy routes to the basket and uh, contesting their shots, rebounding, and uh, just not letting them get second chance points. Comes back to the fundamentals, guys. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be back right after the break for the third quarter here on 2K Sports. Come one, come all. The 2K halftime is here, and so is our breakdown of the upcoming schedule. Let's check it out. Look here now at Charlotte. At this point, you gotta take every team you're up against as a test. Asking yourself, what can we do better than last year? Happened for us too. Kenny, you cook up any new approaches in the offseason? Well, I'm gonna reveal those, you know, over time, not just all in one sitting. But you're right, there is an opportunity to stretch and experiment. See what's working and what isn't. And now looking at the Hornets, a very close game so far. A lot of damage has been done from out beyond the arc. Guys are getting free looks and the defense has not had an answer. They're shooting with a lot of confidence. Kind of like Ernie shooting on the mini hoop. Oh, Ernie used to just shoot bricks everywhere. Kind of like me beating a certain colleague of ours in a three-point shootout in Oklahoma City. You were there to watch it, Kenny. Come on now. And that's a wrap on halftime. Thanks for watching as we send you back to BA to call the second half.
Give a round of applause. This preseason matchup has been a fun one to watch so far. You look at the mellow ball in this game. He's been everywhere. I love how effortlessly he scored. The game just comes so easy for him. Now let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. Here we go, folks. Our coverage of this NBA preseason game continues. Taking a look at the Thunder. Inside, we got Williams and Holmgren. Josh Giddy out there with Shea Gilgis Alexander. And it's Dort in at the small forward position. Yes, sir. The mellow ball has handles, folks. He can get where he wants to on the floor. What a move. Pass to Williams. Williams a screen on Rozier. Outside Gilgis Alexander. The Hornets pull it in. Williams has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. And here's Rozier. Washington, a screen on Giddy. Here's Rozier. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. personal foul. You know, one guy who really thrives on heavy usage, Terry Rozier. B.A., this is a guy who's more than capable of being a catalyst nightly on the offensive end of the floor. It just feels like his energy and his focus and his willingness to be assertive as a scorer has a positive impact nightly. And he makes a first. And discussing the game of Terry Rozier, Doris, what's something that impresses you about him? Probably B.A., his confidence in his game. Uh, he's so aggressive and opportunistic on the offensive end. Sometimes you've got to find guys who put the ball in the basket, period. And that's Terry Rozier. Both free throws good from Rozier. Doris, you look at the Hornets. It's been a roller coaster ride the last few years. It certainly has, B.A. And when their best players have all been available, they have shown an ability to compete. But so often that has not been the case. So hard to have sustained success if your guys aren't available. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. At the line for the Thunder, check home At the line with one shot. Free throw good from Holmgren. And what you immediately notice about Chet Holmgren is his uniqueness. He's got size, but also tremendous agility. He can hit outside shots or battle down low. Pass to Washington. Let's it fly. Williams grabs the board. And Williams has got the ball here for the Thunder. Four-point game. They host the Pistons after this one, and that's a one-game homestand for the club. Goes here outside. And the layup falls. Rozier's got four points this quarter. That's the thing about Rozier, guys. He is fearless. He's willing to take on contact from anybody. Holmgren finds Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren with a screen on ball. Here's Gilgis Alexander. SGA with the float game all day. Well, the touch and the focus. What a pretty move in the lane. Rozier outside. The three. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. Holmgren's got his sixth rebound on the night. Pass to Williams. Down low. Holmgren, the pass to Giddy. Solid defense from Williams. For Charlotte, they've gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Ball outside. Washington, a screen on Giddy. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. Gilgis Alexander against Ball. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. Outside Giddy. Holmgren with a screen on Washington. Williams from long range. Connects from downtown. Williams has got 11. 
defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Williams, nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. Well, we know Terry Rozier can score it, but you love when he sets his teammates up. That's when his whole game is flowing. Here's Giddy. And too long on the shot. Sometimes you just have an off day, and this is one of those games for him. The three from Ball. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got his fourth rebound in this one. Giddy against Rozier. And that one's good. Giddy. Giddy. Well, exposing a weakness in the defense. That's just way too easy, guys. Charlotte has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. There's Ball with a three. The Thunder with the rebound. Holmgren's got his seventh rebound here tonight. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Well, LaMelo Ball's shooting touch was questioned coming into the league, but it's been pretty steady. He said, quote, I think I'm a great shooter. I've had it since a young age. I feel every shot I take is going to go in, and my confidence is really high. He said, I practice these shots. It's all in the snap of the wrist and the follow through. Brian? Very interesting. A flick of the wrist. Thanks, Allie. Good stuff. Giddy passes to Gilgis Alexander. SGA working through contact inside. We all know that SGA is very capable of averaging 30 for a season. Tonight's exploit should come as no surprise. Pass the ball. Back to Rozier. Out of bounds. Out of the Oklahoma City's ball. It's Oklahoma City basketball. Here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got 17. Holmgren with a screen on ball. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. Second team back. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Thunder. Well, they've done some damage down there in the post, and they're converting everything on the block. I think tonight has also, guys, been about the lost art of the mid-range jumper. If you utilize that in-between game right, there's plenty of value in it. Williams has checked in for Oklahoma City. Well, you think about the size and skill set that should allow Chet Holmgren to be very good for a very long time. Pass to Williams. Now here's Ball. Gilgis Alexander defending. Looking to win the run. And Ball gets it to go. Ball's got 21. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after Shea night after Gilgis night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Oh, my. Sinking yet time another mid-race jumper. Charlotte. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. Give them a round of applause, everyone. Your honeybee. And so it's Charlotte with it. Trailing by four. Williams, a screen on Gord. Knocks down the triple. Miller's got 15 points. And there's a reason Miller was a volume three-point shooter in college. Because he's extremely accurate. Here's Giddy. Good on the bucket. Giddy. And the Thunder lead by three. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Rozier, the pass to Williams. To the middle. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First, Doris, a disappointing 22-23 season for the Hornets, especially after making the play-in the year prior. Yeah, I think surely looking to turn things around under new head coach Steve Clifford always takes guys a couple of years to get their system in place. It takes time to develop.
free throw drops for Williams. Hayward, he's checked in for Charlotte. on both now Giddy 10 points for him Williams a screen on Hayward Giddy passes to Williams foul charge to Charlotte Mark Williams fourth personal foul and the third team foul at the line for the Thunder Williams Going to the line, shooting two. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And the Hornets making a change here. Bridges is checked in. so he makes both from the line. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. Here's Miller. Dort defending. Pass to Rozier. Here's Miller. Dort defending. From eight feet away. The Thunder with the rebound. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. 19 points in the game. To the paint. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Doris, how about the production we've been seeing from Shea Gilgis Alexander? VA, he has taken that step from star to superstar. Simply stating, I think he's got the potential to make multiple All-NBA teams. The ability offensively to attack at three levels and to be equally good on the defensive end of the floor, this guy is something special. And he drops the first. Free throws good from Gilgis Alexander. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. Rochio, pass to Miller. Hayward outside. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Giddy's got five rebounds tonight. to Gilgis Alexander. Back to Kitty. The three is up. The rebound by Bridges. Just imagine if he was shooting better. The lead would be even bigger. And here's Rozier. He's covered by Holmgren. Here's Miller. To the middle. And Hayward gets it to go on the assist by Bridges. Hayward's got seven. You'd love to see the unselfishness of Miles Bridges. Just another guy has a better shot. He's ready to move that basketball. And the big finish by Holmgren. The reverse slam. That was sweet. Ah, the finesse on full display. Washington, a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander against Rozier. Puts it up. That one rolls around and rims out. And Giddy has got the ball here for the Thunder. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. That one drops for him. Now it's a seven-point Thunder lead. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Rozier against Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren with the block. 
You love that Holmgren likes to send it back. Use that wingspan to full effect. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. Now here's Dort. Back to Holmgren. Pass to Williams. Dort outside. Five to shoot. From Pete Giddy. And the three-pointer goes. Giddy. 13 points in the game. Boy, Giddy, if he becomes a knockdown three-point shooter, you will not be able to guard this guy. Here's Miller. Bridges, a screen on Dort. Miller, the pass to Rozier. Hayward against Giddy. Bridges, a screen on Giddy. Here's Hayward. And the jumper is on the mark. Hayward's gotten four this quarter. Thunder with a lead. And here's Giddy. He's got 13. Outside Gilgis Alexander. And there's the drive. The shot's good on the assist by Giddy. Giddy's got five assists in the game. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Pass to Miller. Yep, that one goes. Miller's got 17. It's interesting. They definitely had more three-point attempts in the first half. Not sure why they went away from it. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Outside Giddy. Gilgis Alexander, double team. Williams with it. Six to shoot. Three-pointer off the mark. Gilgis Alexander with a steal. Hayward against Dort. Pass to Holmgren. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. Washington grabs the miss. Washington's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Rozier outside. Doesn't go that time. Ooh, some solid defense from Gilgis Alexander. I'll tell you, no matter what he does, he can't find his rhythm, and you get the sense he's starting to press a little bit. Pass to Holmgren from deep. Buries it from three. Holmgren's got 11 in the second half. I'll tell you, the team is simply riding the hot hand. This guy has been lights out. Bridges with it. Hayward outside. Bridges, a screen on Giddy. Back to Bridges. And stolen by Holmgren. Pushing it up the floor. Here comes Oklahoma City. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Boy, that's a savvy move by Lou Dort on the inside. Gets himself the whistle. Shooting for Oklahoma City. Lou Jams. Dort going to the line. Shooting two. Good from Dort. What we know about Lou Dort is this guy is an excellent defender. He's got size, strength, versatility. You can basically throw him at the other team's best offensive weapon night after night. And Dort hits them both. We've got 33 seconds left in the third. Ball looks over the floor. Fires from deep. And it's Giddy with a rebound. Giddy's got eight rebounds in the game. He started out strong. Three threes in the first half, but the long ball has disappeared on him since. Gilgis Alexander against Ball. Outside Gilgis Alexander. The three from Holmgren. Oh, no good! On the last second attempt there. What a performance for Shea Gilgis Alexander. He has been the story for the Thunder. 25 points in counting for him. They have relied heavily on his offense. We'll be back in a moment.
now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm Assist of the Game. Near the top of the list for this honor. I mean, passes like these are his specialty. Well, this is why great point guard play is so critical in today's NBA, and you see it right there on display. And the precursor to the new season here. Teams trying to prepare for what's ahead. Ball and Martin are the one and the two. Hayward and Bridges at the small and power forward spots. And it's Richards in at the center. That's the Hornets five. Well, pretty pass from Shea Gilgis Alexander. This guy can score it, but make sure you're lifting up the guys around you. Pass the ball. This one for three. Oh, ball dropping it in for three. Knocks that one down. Four triples for the night. Three in the first half. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. And the big finish by Holmgren. And this is why so many are high on Holmgren. His ability to dominate games with his score. And here's Martin. Back to ball. Clock at six. And it's good. Two points. Ball's got five points in the quarter. He's shooting well, doing his best to keep this offense in gear. But he hasn't had a lot of support. Kitty finds Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren with a screen on ball. Pass to Holmgren. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by Hayward. Hayward's got four rebounds now. Bridges passes to Martin. Up top ball. The three is up. Williams grabs the board. You've got to find a way to get yourself going in some other way because hoisting from three is not the answer. Inside. Hayward with a steal. To the inside. Stolen by Giddy. Moving along. Two minutes gone in the fourth. And Williams punches it home. How about the big guy attacking the rim? The throwdowns are loud and emphatic. Giddy against Martin. Ball passes to Richards. Jacks up a three. The Thunder with the rebound. And that closeout certainly made a difference. Well, no question. He altered that shot. And most of the time, that's just as good as blocking it. Here's Gilgis Alexander. That one rolls around and rims out. For Charlotte, they've gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Ball. The shot from the low post is good. Ball's got 28 points for the game. Lamelo Ball able off the dribble to get into that jumper so fluidly there. Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City. Robinson Earls checked in for Oklahoma City. Dort comes in for Giddy. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Hi, guys. Well, Mark Diagnol was just reviewing the plan with his team, and they told their team, no easy threes. Let's guard that arc. Don't let anyone get an open look. With the lead, they want to close this one out with their perimeter defense. Let's see if they do, Brian. And Allie, thanks. Shot clock at six. Here's Robinson Earl. Can't hit that one. Nice D from Bridges. Williams against Martin. Pass to Williams. Williams with the screen. Here's Ball. And the 18-footer right on the mark. Ball's got 13 in the second half. Well, just take what the defense gives you. If they concede the mid-range, Lamelo says, I like that shot. Gilgis Alexander, double team. the high post. Here's Joe. And that comes off the assist by Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got his ninth assist of the game now. Outside, Williams. Pass to ball. Back to Williams. Bridges outside. 4-3. 
The rebound by Shea Gilgis Alexander. And so it's Gilgis Alexander with it. He brings it up for the Thunder. 13 point lead. And he's doing things on the glass tonight that we don't often see. His production has been unbelievable. A testament to how much he cares about his craft. Pass the ball. Here's the three. Joe grabs the miss. The Thunder have got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. Gilgis Alexander on the wing. He's guarded by Martin. Williams a screen on Martin. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Here's Joe. Dort for three. Counted from distance. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Ball against Gilgis Alexander. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to go on Shea Gilgis Alexander. Hey, you love how LaMelo uses the contact to get to the line. This guy's IQ on the At offensive the end is something else. And the first one at the line is good. So for the Hornets, Washington's checked in for Bridges. Miller comes in for Hayward. And Terry Rozier subbed in for Martin. Holmgren, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Josh Giddy comes in for Robinson Earl. So he gets them both. LaMelo Ball, a guy who is so unique in terms of his frame and the game. But boy, the potential is limitless. Ball against Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Holmgren. Outside Giddy. Screen by Holmgren. Giddy passes to Holmgren. And the big finish by Holmgren. And you know, as a roller, Holmgren shows great hands, and he makes nice adjustments moving downhill. Rozier from outside. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. Rozier against Giddy. Rozier, the pass to Ball. Pass to Williams. Back to Ball. From the arc. Pure from three-point range. Ball's got 18 points now here in the second half. What a beautiful stroke from range. Defensively, you've got to try to take him out of his comfort zone. Giddy passes to Gilgis Alexander. Shoots over Ball. And there's Gilgis Alexander on the assist from Giddy. Giddy's got eight assists in the game. The Hornets have got five out of ten shots to drop here in the final quarter. Rozier, the pass to Williams. Down low. Washington up top. Dort defending. Washington, a screen on Giddy. Back to Washington. There's the three. Hits the three-pointer. He doesn't need a lot of daylight. Stretches the defense night in and night out. Oklahoma City has gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Holmgren. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. Hounded by Ball. And Gilgis Alexander missing. The Hornets have gone 6 for 11 here in the fourth quarter. Now here's Williams. Now ball. Williams with the screen. And the ball out of play. The Thunder will have it. The Thunder making a switch here. Williams is checked in. Now the lineup for the Thunder. Number 8, Jalen Williams. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And he converts the layup. Gilgis Alexander's got four points this quarter. Oh, boy, how slippery is SGA on the triple drive? Just so difficult to stay in front of him. Rozier, the pass to Ball. Williams, a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Sinks the trade. Ball's got 38 points. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Pass to Holmgren. 
Giddy against Rogier. Here's Gilchis Alexander. Ooh, excellent D there from Ball. For Charlotte, they've gotten 7 of 12 shots to drop in this fourth quarter. Here's Miller. Rozier from outside. And it's Kitty with a rebound. Well, two long-range bombs in the first, but that's stalled out right now. Dort with it. Checked by Washington. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the official signal a jump ball here. Fast break. Here come the Hornets. Here's Rozier. No good on the shot. Some solid defense from Williams. Pass to Giddy. Miller pulls it in. Miller's got four rebounds in the game. And here's Ball. Rozier with it. The three from Washington. Gets the three ball to go. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. Oklahoma City has gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Oh, Williams with the block. And that's out of bounds. Oklahoma City will keep it. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated. Able to shut it down with authority. Gilgis Alexander from outside. And it's Shea hitting the threes. Alexander, three points. And so it's Ball with it. He brings it up for the Hornets. Holmgren with the block. In transition, here they come. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. This guy is such an explosive athlete. Shea Gilgis Alexander goes straight to the cup. Giddy against Rozier. Williams passes to Ball. Washington with the ball. Six on the shot clock. No good on the three. Oklahoma City has gone three for five from three-point land since the end of the third quarter. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Shoots over Rozier. And there's Gilgis Alexander on the assist from Giddy. Gilgis Alexander's got 11 points in the quarter. They came out and had a statement win with their performance tonight. A fantastic effort to get it done here for the Thunder. Well, Grant, I don't know if there was one deciding factor in this game, but I'd say shooting accuracy if I had to choose. Agreed, B.A. They really went after quality looks and shot the ball with confidence. And they got a lot of great solo efforts tonight, but probably none bigger than the performance for Chet Holmgren. Boy, his defense is what stood out to me. There was a no-fly zone around this guy all night. He contested every shot in his area and sent a few back. Ball way outside. The long distance three is buried. Ball's got 41. Coming down the stretch, they've leaned on the perimeter game. Boy, the three-point arc has been a major factor in what they've done here tonight. You love the aggressiveness. Giddy passes to Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander, double team. Here's Giddy. And that wow. comes off the assist by Gilgis Alexander. You gotta give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. Well, just terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. Rozier finds ball. Back to Rozier. Pass to Miller. Here's ball. Puts up a three. And it's Giddy with a rebound. City takes this one Ladies and by and a big margin the end of the a game. statement road victory so impressive statement in DBA it was an enemy territory but they controlled the game and took the crowd completely out of it that's how you win on the road 
And thanks for joining us for this NBA preseason contest. For Doris Burke, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, and our entire crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. And as we leave, we give you our New Balance Player of the Game, Shea Gilgis-Alexander. <laughs>